This could be the future. An aerospace plane that slashes all previous costs. Its trick is air-breathing engines. They suck oxygen from the atmosphere to burn hydrogen fuel. That saves carrying oxygen and an enormous amount of weight. Only approaching orbit do conventional rockets kick in. From airport to orbit in 10 minutes. Compared to shuttle or a Russian rocket, a budget ride on a lightweight ferry. The station could be an interchange for onward flights to the moon, just a couple of days away. Bulk transporters would ply from the space station with supplies too expensive if lifted directly from Earth. For the moon is now colonized. It's the second half of the 21st century. From lunar cities, we're mining the riches of this world next door. Again, from our orbiting spaceport, an express trip to Mars. Designs already exist for nuclear-powered rockets that will cut the voyage from nine months to six weeks. The red planet will be our home from home, but it'll be life in a bubble, self-sustaining biospheres shielded from a hostile exterior. Much farther in the future, in craft we can only imagine, we may head for the stars. But to leave behind Earth, the Moon, the planets and the Sun and travelling at one-tenth the speed of light, it would still take 40 years to reach the nearest star. So how long to a star with a planet like our own? Maybe this is a more immediate prospect for an escape from Earth. A tower rising 36,000 kilometers from the equator. The idea of space guru Arthur C. Clarke. The tower is one of four elevators to orbit, the spokes of a gigantic wheel of which Earth is the hub. Clarke's wheel is both an orbital city and a springboard to space.